Hey, 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 guys, it is Hawkeye, and I am back again with Fishing Planet, and it is fast approaching evening. You know what that means. That means catfishing. Yeah, I know we can fish in the morning, Dula. I know it. I know it. But at the same time, the night, the night is also awesome. So. We are going to do just that, but first of all, we need to switch over to something that makes a little more sense here for fishing with. Now, they will go for the shrimp, but let's put something on there that we like a little bit better. Let's see. The old large cut bait. They will go for that. I wish I had more of that, honestly, but they also go for the medium cut bait. Small cut bait, you're probably going to get young ones, but that's saying with cheese. But they will also go for the shiners, they will go for the large minnows, they'll go for the frogs, the crawfish cut, and the crawfish, just about anything. These guys love to eat. That's just all there is to it. So what we're going to do is we are going to fish for these guys and see if we can't fill up the net the rest of the way. That is the goal. Alright, let's see here. Yeah, I like to make sure that before the day ends, I have a, a full net so I can maximize the money that I get. Actually, I think I'm going to change that hook size, too. Just realize that I only still have a one-odd hook. I wasn't paying attention to that. Sorry about that. I would at least go with a two or three-odd. That's just kind of the way it goes. Let's go two aught. They will bite on that even if they're trophies, it doesn't matter. The large cut bait almost assures that the trophies are going to go for it. Now there's always a chance you'll get the bullheads too, guys, because they're in the same place. the settings went are looking different. I didn't change that. Hmm. getting a bite it didn't ding that time there we go yeah Let's see what we got here I think we got us a basic channel catfish we will keep him. I'm going to check something here, guys, about my settings. Something doesn't look right to me. Okay, guys, that was really weird. All my settings had gone back to the default settings. I mean, I have, like, fantastic quality. I have, of course, the pro display over on the right. And for some reason, it all got turned off. And that was all turned off as well. The old ding thing lets me know. You don't have to do it, but I like it because, well, it lets me know something's biting. It's great if you're sitting there fishing with more than one pole, I'll tell you that. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. Maybe they had an update or something. is still interested. He's just picking at it. Yeah, once it's after 7 o'clock, these guys, they bite pretty good. There we go. I think we might have us a trophy here, guys. This guy's got some heft to him. Yes, sir. There he is. There he is. There is right off the bat we got us a trophy 
nice fat one too get a good picture of him because I always take more than one because as they're flipping around you tend to get some kind of weird angle and it, they look kind of, you know, like they've had their tail chopped off or something. Alright. Yeah, see I've already got up to 105 pounds in there. This is going to get filled up. And then we can end the day and get the maximum amount of cash that we can get for this place. That is the plan. The only thing that you could probably beat the trophy catfish with is probably a trophy bass, but I haven't had the weather for that yet, so hopefully I can pull another one out of here. I've pulled them out of here before, but like I said, they're not always easy. I think this might be a bowfin actually, guys. Yep. Trophy bowfin. <laughs> there you go. Not bad. Not bad at all, guys. Trophy bowfin. Nice. I'll get a picture of him, too. Why not? Trophy bowfin. We will keep him, too. That sucker weighed 10 pounds. He was a massive son of a gun. It is trophy kind of night, I guess. It ain't going to take us too long to fill that net. I've got a bigger one, but I don't like to use it that much. Unless I'm in, you know, some place like Michigan where the, they have the blue cats or something like that. Because it fills up extremely quickly and it's seriously expensive to repair. I mean, seriously, in some cases, you have to use gold to repair the darn things. At least they used to. I don't know if they still do. Yeah, I think this is just a regular bowfin, guys, but it is another bowfin. What is, uh, guys, what is going on with this fish? There we go. <laughs> he's just swinging back and forth. Yeah, he's a little fella. We'll keep him. I'm going to run out of the big cut bait. Dunk on it. I hate when I run out of the cut bait. I never buy enough of it. Can't have too much cut bait. That's for sure. I think I might reel this in a little bit. I think they're, the bowfin are out a little bit further. Seems to be the case. What the hell? There we go. Just give a little slack so it can float on down. There's already something interested in it. What the hell is it doing? It's making it lean. He's still there. He isn't giving up on it yet. There we go. I think we got us some kind of a trophy this time too, guys. Yep. No. No. He's just a regular. He's just a good fighter, I guess. We'll keep him too. You can see how easy this is, guys. You got the right bait. And the night's just as good if you go into the night. They'll bite just as much, especially on the peaks. I'm not really sure what the peaks are on this night, but we'll find out here in a few minutes. Right now, I think I'm getting another bite here. I think I might switch over to the minnows. The large minnows this time. There we go. Yeah, see, this is fun. This is when it gets really fun, when you're just pulling one in right after another. 
I know, I know, I'm out of current. Out of my current bait, so we're gonna have to go in here and replace it with something else. Let's see. Yeah, I think the large catfish. It's I mean the catfish will go for the shiners, but it seems like the um Bowfin like them an awful lot too, a lot more than just about anything else. And I really I've caught a couple of bowfin now. I kind of want to stick with the catfish. Bowfin tend to weigh a lot more and don't pay off as well. Yeah, it is until you get to the uniques. That's the only thing about the large minnows. They swim. <laughs> you think that they've you've got something. The truth is it's just your bait swimming around. That's another reason I like having the thing that goes ding on it because I'm not thinking that I've got something on there when I really... What the hell? That was weird. I did not touch the anything. It just started reeling in on its own. It must have touched the touch pad or something. Yeah, see? That's not a fish. Well, it's a fish. But it's the bait. Good God, he is really an active bait, isn't he? <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm going to go back to using cut bait. I, these guys are just swimming around too much. Uh, we've, got, we've got enough medium cut bait. That should do the trick. Let's do it a little closer in here. Somewhere about like that. I'm going to... Should be deep enough there. I don't know why it's okay. There it goes. There he goes. He was kind of a subtle, wasn't he? <laughs> there we go. They seem to be coming in about the same size, just around five pounds. About 134, 135 cash, something like that. Not too bad. About the same as a largemouth bass. Regular size, that is. But you could easily just sit there and farm these guys if you wanted to. Get you enough cut bait. You could sit here most of the night, early evening, and early morning. Pull these guys in one right after another. Okay. Come on. You know you want it. With there we go. Ooh, might have us a trophy here, guys. Just might have us a trophy. This is not my heavy-duty rod. This is my Nero, if I'm not mistaken. So it's going to take a little work to get him in, but he seems to be a big one. Whoa! There we go. Oh, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I wonder what he looks like to hold him up. Let's see how big he is compared to me. Not bad. Really, not bad at all. Yep. Not bad at all. Yeah, the biggest I've pulled out of here is just under 14 pounds. 
And if I remember correctly, it was when Dula and I were competing. <laughs> Not the last time, but some years ago. I have to take a look, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that's when it was. He was beating me too, if I remember correctly. He had the biggest fish so far, and it was like around 12 and a half pounds. And then I pull out this almost 14 pounder, like the last two minutes or something. He was like, ha ha, kid, you bugger, or something like that. I remember what he said. Come on. Hey, quit on me. I don't know if that's him or somebody else. Now, are we hitting bottom or something right there? Is there something biting on it? I think something's biting on it. There we go. Come on. Quit messing around. There you go. That's about more like it. Let's see. I think this is just a regular one. Ooh! Personal record for a black bullhead. I'll be darned. Trophy black bullhead. See, they're not worth a lot of cash, though. But 3.785. Man, I am into the trophies tonight. And I even broke a record for myself. It's not bad. <laughs> I love when things work out the right way. Yeah, we're almost filled up here, guys. We are going to probably be able to get one more regular size fish in there. And that's going to have to be it for the night. And I'm not so sure we can get a trophy back in here. I think it's... We'd have to let him go. Now, if we get another trophy bullhead, that would be good. That was actually very surprising. I didn't expect to get that. Usually, they don't go for the, the bigger cut bait. They will do it, but... Usually it's the trophies, pretty much. <laughs> he seems pretty serious, too. There we go. We got him. This is probably going to be it, guys. Yep. That fills up our net. 141, he hit a bad. Yep, it is actually over the limit <laughs> just a little bit. So, yeah, we are done for the night, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And take advantage of this situation, guys, because if you check the if you check the map here and the times, as we're going into the night. As you can see, there's going to be a peak right here, right after 9, and then early in the morning, right around 3 a.m., it gets real good. So if you've got like one of those nets that fills like 500 pounds of fish, fill it up. Anyway, guys, always remember, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.